Shoto Atheist Closing Statement. Now we will proceed with the closing statement of Shoto. Uh, six minutes on the clock. Right, so even if I grant ng yung whole point ni Charles about his um, presuppositionalism niya, ganun nga yung uh, premises na kinukonsist ng argument niya, uh, including its conclusion, is is true. Uh, I still know, uh, uh, see no any reason kung bakit yung, um, um, yung God has to be certain or has to be specific. Um, I think um, this is another problem to uh, address to Charles, why it should be the God of the Bible? Why not the God of the Muslim? Um, why not the God of the Greeks? Why not the God of the um, Hindu and the Jews? And it's also important na kasi yung mga Muslim, they're also using uh, presuppositional apologetics. Um, they believe that Allah is the precondition of all knowledge. And rational thought is also possible. Dahil nga siya ay nag exist and that's because of him. But yet, anag sila in a very different conclusion. So, and also, I just wanted to ask um, to Charles, maybe since um, closing statement kaman to, is that which Bible, since there is over 3,030 versions in over 2,011 languages that there is, so why it should be the specific Bible and the specific God na yung presuppose? ng mga presuppositionalist. And also, um, yung interesting part dito sa argument na um, presuppositionalism, presuppositionalism, I mean, is that um, you could use it to justify um, any types of gods, like flying spaghetti. It's like, it might be possible that this flying spaghetti monster is the uh, precondition for all knowledge. And it might be Shiva for, or Lord Shota, whatsoever. So, about the natural, uh, his response recently on the uh, evil or the evidential problem of evil. So, he said that God has a reason that we don't know it. So, God works in a mysterious way. So, on this kind of reasoning, or, or if, if you have a God na nag work in a mysterious way, so he can't be predicted or walang pattern or walang reason, Currently, um, I think this is not a certain type of God na paniniwalaan mo sa, sa mga bagay na nangyari sa buhay mo, which is siyang reason behind it. And if God has a reason, but hindi niya nalang ibigay sa atin, right? So that wala na mga atheist. So what is the point of not giving that answer or being still mysterious. So, I see no reason uh, behind that. And once again, um, the whole project of presuppositionalism is all about um, proving that Christianity is a logical necessity or is such a precondition for all knowledge para being intelligible on the hat. So, you could use logic and reason to justify that belief. But the problem is, kapag nag ka na into the Bible, or if you treat God as an axiom, as I said recently, uh, it it just uh, abandon yung whole project ng presuppositionalism, as I told to Charles recently. Kasi nga, if something as an axiom, you no longer have to justify them. All you need to do is to let people accept it, since it's very self-evident. So axioms do not require any justification. And also, um, if, you, uh, if you appeal to the Bible as a revelation of the knowledge, and that you just simply also abandon the whole uh, presuppositional project because the Bible is not based on logic and reason. It's a matter of faith. And since the presuppositionalism is um, highly re relying on logic, Therefore, it cannot be the case na mag sila sa Bible as the uh, ultimate source of truth to prove their claim about presuppositionalism. So it's kind of circular reasoning. Um, it's just like saying that this something is true because the Bible said so. So it cannot be the case. And as I said recently, um, the Bible, I mean, the circular reasoning is not knowledge. And about then sa sinabi ko sa first kona argument about sa anthropomorphic God, 
I didn't say or conclude that therefore an all-loving God doesn't exist. Yung sinasabi ko doon is therefore walang anthropomorphic or anthropo anthropocentric God na nag-exist. Kasi if we assume na yung God ng Bible is human-centered, then mag tayo na magkikreate siya ng isang universe kung saan uh, ito ay human-centered. But unfortunately, as we know it today, hindi human-centered ang universe. We are not um, the center of the whole universe. Uh, the universe doesn't revolve around us. So uh, by that um, reasoning, uh, we can conclude therefore na yung anthropocentric God doesn't exist. Pero note that uh, I'm not saying that therefore all gods doesn't exist. It might be that there's a God, pero hindi siya anthropocentric, gaya ng the God of the Bible. So again, since we live in a universe na sobrang random and sobrang vast, it really makes us uh, feel so unimportant and we shouldn't expect that in a world na merong anthropocentric God. So that's all. Thank you, Sata, for that very wonderful closing remarks.